these Lakewood High sophomores are getting a World War II history lesson their teachers hope they'll never forget. The subject is as painful as any from that conflict, but perhaps not as fully known or appreciated. <laughs> Headline speak. It was after the U.S. surrender of the Bataan Peninsula on April 9, 1942, that some 75,000 Filipino and American troops were forced by the Japanese to march to prison camps. Thousands died. They had eaten for maybe a week, and they had ac access to no water. World War II veteran Frank Francone commanded some of the Filipino survivors after the war and has taken on the mission of keeping their story and sacrifices alive. So in that short period of time, in that 70 mile march, over 19,000 men died. So too has Mike Simbre, Regional Director of the Philippine Veteran Recognition and Education Project for Colorado. Most of the history books that we have nowadays don't give all the facts. It's a part of history that seems so covered up. Together, they've taken their remembrance of the Bataan Death March presentation to any group that will listen, not only to tell the story of the march, but to spread the word about a newly authorized congressional gold medal to honor Filipino-American veterans who were there. But when I heard about Frank and Mike and their project and what they were trying to do to increase awareness and to carry on the legacy of those that served in the Philippines during World War II. Um, it was the perfect combination. We all know about Pearl Harbor, but very few people know what happened on the death march. Even the government itself didn't release the information as to the impact on the prisoners of war until a couple years after they'd already been in in prison. To me it was honestly really sad because well I learned about everything that happened and that I didn't know and like all of the things that all of those people went through. The kids need to be enlightened on what happened period and I hope uh, these sophomores go back and think okay look at the atrocities that happened uh, by the Japanese on the POWs. Was there any uh, was there any morality to it? One thing that I'll take from this, read your stories, like read history, so it doesn't repeat itself. Recognize other people and like appreciate everything that we have because people lost their lives for it. 